ensure a healthier and wealthy nation. Plan of activities that they want to carry out before the end of the year. So based on that, you know, the sports for health is one of the main activities that we want to because it's mass sports. Government through the sports ministry is using sports as a tool to promote fitness, well-being and good health, as well as encourages teamwork and building a cohesive working environment. Not only to, to look out for winners, but to ensure that people, uh, particularly busy people, busy officials, uh, like members of the judiciary, of course, the executive, the civil service, and the legislature, to partake in sports for health. And uh, it is in view of this that we, in partnership with the Minister of Health and Social Welfare, thought that it is wise uh, to kind of promote uh, the participation of top government officials in sports for their well-being. The program is also expected to be used as a venue to select a formidable government team to play against the private sector and the business community to foster unity and cooperation among the two sectors. We have four teams participating and uh, the participation is not the wheelchair, uh, the uh, uh, musical chair, neither only football, but the general public is urged, uh, all the private sectors, the judiciary, if you are not participating with the mini, uh, mystical chair, neither playing football, there will be aerobics. That everybody is invited to come and participate in this aerobic exercise. It's for everybody. Even though you are not within the private sector, neither the judiciary, and if you wish that you want to be part of the mass participation, come and participate in the uh, uh, aerobics exercise. The successful hosting of the first edition of the Sports for Health Jamboree will pave the way for its replication annually. Preparations ahead of the Pro-Am Golf Championship are underway with organizers hopeful of attracting top local and international golfers on the Fajara Golf Course. The competition comes against the backdrop of efforts to expand the game both as recreative sports and as a vehicle for sport tourism development. Ababuka Senghor preview the upcoming championship. A year earlier, this was the mood which greeted the first major golf association pro-arm championship. A terrific period of top-class golf competition, a moment that marked the Gambia's Fajara golf course as a leading destination for golf tourism. A year on, the GGA with help from the Gambia National Olympic Committee are about to roll out another high-profile tournament. The tournament, the Gambia Open and Pro-arm, 2012 um, is the national championship for golf in the Republic of the Gambia. Um, this year the tournament is being played under the most distinguished chief patronage of the president of the Republic of the Gambia, His Excellency Chef Professor Alhaji Dr. Yaya A.J. Jame, who was the chief patron for the last Open, and indeed for the Open I was in 2004. The Fajara Golf Course will play host to some of the country's top golfers, as well as leading names from across the sub-region. The last pro arm championship marked a turning point for golf in the Gambia, as the game began its emergence as a leading sport in the country. The GGA has in effect engaged some of the brighter talents in helping them develop interests and strengthen their playing skills on the vast course. The sport has been regarded by some as a bourgeois popular culture, but the sport is increasingly gaining momentum in the Gambia. The tone of the tournament is to bring together amateurs as well as uh, professionals, golfers, together every year from Gambia and abroad to compete in amateur categories and, and um, professional categories. Like I said, it's the national championship for the Gambia, and it's sanctioned by the Gambia Golf Association. When the golfers take to the course and tee off on the brand course once again, expectation will grow at record heights as golf takes a steady position in Gambia's vast sporting fields. Well, that's all we have for you in tonight's edition. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for the pleasure of your company. And don't forget, next week is going to be Papis Demba CC exclusive on Sports Tonight. Don't miss it. Goodbye.
Hello there and welcome to BJL Weekly. This is the show that brings you reviews of the hottest showbiz highlights of the week. The when and where is in town, who is in town, where have you been, and lots more. Exclusively on BJL Weekly with Fatima Diamond.